right, guys, I'm going to add this before the haul so that um, you see it uh, because I did my whole exit, but you'll get my hello, guys, and everything if you continue watching. But I found these coats I forgot to show when I made the video, and they are these. Um, it's royalty brand. This is an extra large. This one is wet. Um, it was in the bottom of the dumpster. It looks like the only thing wrong with it is that the zipper is missing, but it's a really cute coat. And I'm sure it can be fixed. I have a zipper put on it. I'm not sure how to do that. And this one's the same way. It's an extra large royalty. And it's really nice. It has like a velvety hood in there. And just the same reason. The zipper is gone. Oh no, the zipper is on this one. But the um, piece right there is gone. So we'll figure something out for that. And then this one is a 2X Avalanche brand. Um, which I'm pretty sure is a really good brand and the reason they threw this one away is because the zipper is hung up on the fabric That's you guys know. I'm sure you guys have had that happen to you before and it's a real easy fix Other than that, there's nothing wrong with it. It was in the mystery bag. So uh, It's nice and clean white coat out of the dumpster and it's perfectly clean <laughs> So it's big for me, but I might still keep it because I can wear like a hoodie or something under it But all right guys on to the video. Bye. Hey everybody, I am back with another haul. My son and I went out to the town that I used to dive at. And I guess I shouldn't call it that anymore because I've been diving there. <laughs> uh, it is a gloomy, rainy, cold day here in Michigan. Um, so I didn't get any footage in the dumpster because I didn't want my phone getting wet. And I still don't have a tripod for it to hook it on the dumpster. So... I didn't get any footage. I did get into the Burlington dumpster, uh, the coat factory dumpster. Uh, so that's how I'm, because they put everything in and then they put um, all their hangers on top of everything. So it was really difficult to get anything out. Um, some of this stuff came out of a grab bag they had in there, but the rest I had to get in and dig through the hangers. And I got really scared because I heard a garbage truck coming. I mean, I parked my truck in front of the dumpster to make sure it doesn't, the garbage truck won't take the dumpster while I'm in it. But um, as I was climbing out, he was pulling away. He was uh, taking the recycling from the store next door to us. So uh, I got nervous, but I did it. <laughs> uh, again, I am so close to 500 subscribers. I don't think I've had any new subscribers since my last video yesterday. Uh, so I think when I checked out this morning, I was at 488. So about 12 away from 500, and I'll do a mystery box giveaway also, go check out Jenny's channel, uh, Gabby's Goods and Infinity Finds. I talked about her before. Uh, she's really close to 500 as well, and she's going to do uh, two mystery giveaways. I'm pretty sure that's what she said. So go check her out if you haven't already, and um, I will get into this. So I will start. I, went, I got all of this from, let's see, most of it came from Burlington, and then I got a few things from the craft store. And one thing from Ollie's. So, yes, I know I said the names of the stores, but sometimes you just do. <laughs> anyway, I found these boots. I thought they were really cute. They're London Fog, which is a really good brand. And they're size 8. And I was going to give them to my sister. But as you can see, they are the same foot. So, that was a bummer. Um, and I'll, I'll just go right here next. I got these two totes and this, like, greenery swag thing out of the craft store I think these were supposed to be on it and then this little Christmas tree he needs just needs to be reshaped it's just like a wire like a baby brush bottle brush thing in there and then they threw out a whole case of these um, it was a six pack and three of them were still good three of them were shattered so I grabbed those um, I can use those for candles or crafting or whatever but that was all I got out of that store the rest of this, except for one thing, came from um, the coat factory. And this, like I said, most of this was in a grab bag. Uh, I got some socks. And according to uh, Ray Everyday Diver, it isn't a dive unless you find socks. Because <laughs> he finds socks all the time. And these are really nice. I don't know the brand Brookstone. I never heard of them before. I don't shop Burlington. Um, so maybe I'm missing out on it. But they're like thick, cozy socks. I don't, they're like fuzzy, they're like super soft inside. So those will make good Christmas presents. My feet get hot, so I don't normally wear hot, uh, warm socks like that. Uh, and I found this little 
makeup thing. The mirror is broken there. But uh, my niece, I think, will still love that. I'll just pop the mirror out so she doesn't cut herself or anything. And then there was this little uh, royal hatch. I guess they're the hatchimals, just like mini-sized hatchimals. And the package was loose, um, but they're all still in there. And I can just tape that back together, and they'll never even know. I'll move those over for now. I found this pair of, like, workout pants, like, leggings. They're workout pants. They have, like, pockets on the sides. And they are a size large. Um, I'll see if my sister wants them. She said that uh, well, she's five months along now, five months pregnant. And she said that she has two pairs of leggings. And that's all that she has that fit her for pants. So <laughs> I'll see if these fit her. Um, and if not, I can find somebody else to fit them. But I found this little pair of leggings and their little girl leggings. They're really cute. They have, like, the designs on them like the adult ones do. They are a 4T. So... I'm sure one of my nieces will fit in those. I have uh, three little nieces, and then um, uh, I have quite a few nieces, actually. I have more nephews than nieces, but uh, I'm sure one of them can fit in those. And then there's this bag of, it's like bowl filler for Christmas time. You can see a little chunk is gone right there, but you can just put that little piece upside down. It's like the potpourri stuff. It doesn't smell like anything, though. Nope, it has no scent. It's just for decoration, but that's real pretty. So I can use that and put it in something. And this candlestick was in there. Something was supposed to be on top of it. I don't know what it was. Obviously, it's a little busted here. Um, I'll glue that back down. Turn it around to the back side and put a candle on top, and you'll never know. And that was only $4.99, so I wonder what was on top of there. It says handmade in India. I don't know. I didn't find anything that looked like it would have gone on top of there. So... Who knows? Maybe it was in the last batch that I missed out on. <laughs> and there was a little pair of baby socks in there. And this uh, fold-away, full-size baby bath with compact fold. So it folds up. You can put it in the tub when you get a baby bath. And when you're done, it just folds away into the small box. So I will see if my sister wants that for the baby. And there was a pack of Honest diapers in there. They're open a little bit right there. So I'll see if she wants those. She can just take out those couple that have a little bit of yuck on them. Like I said, it was raining. One of the lids was open on this dumpster. So there was a little bit of rain in there, but it's more like a drizzle right now. Um, it had been like this all night. So I figured there would have been, it would have been a lot worse in that dumpster, but it wasn't actually too bad. And there was this Milani eyeshadow. You can see a couple of the colors are gone out of there, but there's still a few that are good. And all these hand sanitizers, this one just looks like the pump is on wrong. This one, I don't know, it doesn't seem to be leaking or anything. And then this spray, hand sanitizer. So a whole bunch of hand sanitizer, which I use after I'm done dumpster diving. <laughs> and there was this uh, Epi Smooth hair remover tool, I guess. It doesn't look to be used. I don't see any nastiness on it. Um... So I don't know if it was just the package got ripped open. Somebody tried to steal it, maybe. I'm not sure, but it was in there. These lashes were in there. One is missing. It had like a, a receipt taped to it that said one lash missing. So those are still good. And I found this watch in there. It's missing that little piece that holds the thing in there. I don't know if it's in the box. I didn't really look, but I'm sure I can uh, get a replacement piece to put in there. It says, forgive, oh, it has the Lord's Prayer on there. Oh, that's really cute. I don't know if you can, uh, it's not going to focus. But it has the Lord's Prayer on there. That's really nice. I might fix that up and give that to my nephew. He's about to be um, headed off to boot camp for the Marines. And he said that he's been really into having a watch, and he has to have one for the Marines anyway. So I'll fix that and see if he wants it. I'm sure he will. And there was this, uh, I think it's a men's necklace. I'm assuming maybe it must have had something on there. It says steel time, so I'm assuming it had a watch or something on there. It's not in the package, but uh, it is like a, a steel necklace. So he might like that as well because he does wear chains. And this little Hot Wheel or the Kachow car is what my kids call them. Kachow Lightning McQueen car was in there. There was like a Spider-Man something in there. I don't know if it was like a, a bathtub thing. But I couldn't get to it. All them hangers were just in the way. Even with me being in the dumpster, it was just 
I could not get to it. So then I left a few things in there that um, I just didn't want or, or couldn't use. So the next diver has a few things to find. But there was this pack of face masks in there. Obviously, well, I think they just got ripped off of the hook because they're still sealed in there. Like the seal on the package is still sealed. So I won't take them out of there. I don't think anybody could have gotten into that package. But I'll take them out and wash them and either donate them or use them. And then there was this mask in there. This one might go to it too because it looks like the same way made. But it has like this chain in there and I didn't know what the chain was for. And it's so you can hang it around your neck, I guess. It says never lose or drop your cover when not wearing. <laughs> okay. So you hook the chain on there and you can wear it around your neck, kind of like uh, glasses have, I guess. And there was this little mask. There was a couple of little like dinosaur ones too, but they were just covered in dumpster juice, so I left them. And this little pair of champion gloves, which apparently is the new cool thing for kids is to have champion clothes. So I'm sure my son will want those once he sees I have them. I don't know if they'll fit them. They look pretty small. And there was a pair of girls' winter gloves in there. They're nice and thick. So, again, I will give those to one of my nieces. And then there was a set of earrings. Looks like we got a couple missing right here. And then, but that's okay. There's still quite a bit there. So, I will use those. And a couple more pairs of earrings. Looks like these are... Yes, there. Ooh, I'm not sure. It looks like they're all there. It's just the um, hook, the backs came off, and that looks like the same exact set. And just the backs were coming off or something. I'm not sure. What does it say? Put in Miss Mate box. Leave for LP. I don't know. Must have been thrown away because their pieces come off, and they must have just thought it was garbage. <laughs> And there was two of these necklace sets in there. You can see they're kind of yucky on the packaging. And they're like pearl necklace sets. I don't know how much they were or nothing. They feel heavy, almost like they're real pearls. I don't know. Ellen Tracy, is that a good brand? Does anybody know? And this is supposed to go on these necklaces. I only found one, though, but that's okay. This set's still pretty without it. I'm not sure. I do have some pearl necklaces, and they're pretty heavy compared to the fake ones. And these are pretty heavy, so... Those might be real. I know there's one way to check, and I'm not putting it in my mouth right now. <laughs> but there was a pair of ladies' underwear in there, size small. And then there were four bras. Uh, these two right here were in a separate bag, like they were a return. Uh, these are like the wireless, and these are the wired. Um, they look to be maybe my size, so I'll try them on. I'll wash them, try them on, see if they fit. If not, I'll find them new homes. And then this little plant was in there, which was the first thing I seen. Uh, the top had come off. The bottom, I don't know, it probably was supposed to have a longer stem that got broken. But the pot was still in perfect condition. And there was still enough stem on there for me to just pop it on. So that's what I did. And these little pieces go on there somewhere. It doesn't look like it's missing any anywhere, but we'll figure it out. And there was a set of salt and pepper shakers in there. There doesn't appear to be anything wrong with them. I'm not sure. Not too bad, $2.99. This um, teapot was in there, and it works. So, and that was $16.99. It was thrown away because it has a dent on this side, but you'll never see it when it's that way, and it won't affect its use, so we will figure some out for that. I don't use a, use a teapot too often, so I'll see my, uh, my one sister makes tea at nighttime, she said, so... I'll see if she wants that for her tea. And this gravy boat was in there, perfect for tomorrow. It does have a little crack right there. I'll see if it still will hold for tomorrow. We'll give it a wash. I mean, it doesn't feel like it's gone all the way through. So I'm sure it still will be fine. So that is the haul from the table. And we'll make our way to the countertop. Well, besides these boots. Said, I had a sign on them, a sticker. I must have pulled it off. But it said damaged when um, they got them. They were $16.99. They're rock and candy, size 7. A um, little bit of something on the toes. That's going to happen anyway in the winter time. Um, I'll see if they'll fit one of my nieces, maybe. And then we'll make our way over here. I didn't even know that Burlington sold canvases. Apparently they do. 
and these were in there. It's a value pack, six pack. It looks like maybe the first one or two. I think just the first one got poked. I can still use the frame from that, and then the rest of them are still fine. So I can use those. Sorry about that. My sister was calling me. <laughs> I found another Chanel picture that uh, one I found last time with the lips actually was Chanel. I didn't look close enough until after I made the video. And yes, they had the Chanel marks all over it. If you watch uh, Dumpster Queen, you know she found the same one and pointed that out. So thank you, Dumpster Queen. <laughs> but there is this one. The glass was broken out of it and it does have a little damage right here at the top. But it's still a big, nice picture that I'm sure someone would love to have. And then this is the one thing I got from Ollie's. It's just this clock. It's missing the glass was broken out of there, but it's real cute. It has like the galvanized metal on it and you'll never even know that the glass is gone, that it was supposed to even have glass. So that's good. Oh wait, no, I got that out of, out of Burlington. I got this out of Ollie's. You can see the tag here and the glass has gone out of that, but it's still a good picture. I got this out of Burlington. Believe in the magic, you can see the bottom piece right there came off. But when I went in the dumpster, I did find that piece and I brought it home. Oh, yeah, and I got these out of the fabric store dumpster, uh, the one out there in that town. And you can see the glass. Uh, let's see, is it the bottom one on this set of picture frames is broken, and then it's pretty much shattered in both of those. But they're still good. I can cut new pieces of glass or whatever and still use them. And then this was the last thing that I really made me climb into the dumpster. Let's see if we can turn it on. My son had it on. Bluetooth it does, mode. See, it does work. He hooked his phone up to it and had it planned. Connected. We'll turn it back off. He had his phone connected and playing music. It did not have the charger cord in there, um, but that's okay. I'm sure it's probably... Oh yeah, looks like just a regular charger cord. So that's fine. It has wheels and this handle. Uh, my son said is probably the reason why they threw it away because the handle didn't want to work. So I'll mess around with that. Maybe it's just jammed in there wrong. But yeah, crazy score. I just went out. I was gone maybe an hour. <laughs> and I found all this. And I was hoping I'd find something because the last time I went out there I didn't find anything. And I filled my truck again. So I didn't even stop and check the B.L. and the fabric store near me. Their garbage got dumped this morning, but sometimes um, they throw stuff in then so that they can cover it up with other stuff later. So this is my haul. I hope you guys like it, and I'm sorry I didn't get any footage. And um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And make sure you are subscribed if you do want to get in on the giveaway that I will be doing. So... Uh, because you have to be subscribed in order to be entered into the giveaway. And then when I make the video about it, you'll learn more about it, what you need to do. Um, it won't be nothing crazy or anything. So, all right, guys, that's it. I hope you guys liked it, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.